Hello guys, back again for another 1001 beers you must try before you die. And we've got another first here, first garden beer review. Uh, it's hot as balls here, uh, in, in here in Reading, England. Uh, and I present uh, my second special guest, which is Mr. Tim Lloyd. Hello, good evening. Um, who uh, has done some video beer reviews himself. Yeah, I've just started doing reviews, only, only since August, uh, no, since Easter this year even. Yeah. Started doing a few online reviews and uh, yeah, it's a bit of fun. So uh, there's going to be a mixed bag of selections uh, today, although I will split them up in different videos like I did with uh, the other ones and I'm going to intersperse them. But first one, and uh, Tim does not know which ones we're going for. I know nothing, so no the idea. The first one is... Negra Modelo. I can safely say I've never heard of it. It is a Mexican beer. Oh, right, okay. Uh, I have had this before. Uh, it wasn't in Mexico. Um, but let's go to the tasting note, shall we? So, first brewed in 1926. Mm, okay. 5.4%. Um, and uh, the, the tasting notes say the colour is bright amber brown. The nose is mostly malt sweetness with nutty aromas. The flavour profile is likewise sweet and malty with hints of vanilla, caramel, and a touch of nuttiness like almonds. The mouthfeel is thin. Well, I don't like the sound of that. Mm. But good balance and full flavours make it refreshing. Well, we need a refreshing beer right now because it's really hot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just winding down. 35 um, degrees today. The idea of this beer is it's supposed to be... Um, it's supposed to go well with spicy Mexican food. So it's not... Um, so it's not a lager per se. It's kind of a you know, like a dark lager maybe, mm. uh, but it's what they, it's an amber beer officially. So it's probably from the sounds of that it's not going to have much body on it, but it should have quite a lot of flavour. Yes, in theory. Yes. So, so uh, this is that, one. Is that a twist up? No, no it's not a twist it, up, it? but it's got. Um, it's the first one I've had that's had uh, this stuff that you've actually got to scratch off. It's not one. I you don't can think you need. I think you can open it without having to. Oh yeah, maybe it you're should right. work. Yeah. Right. Oh, this will almost too many times before. This will almost <laughs> certainly not be bottle conditioned, although I no. have made mistakes before. So okay, thanks uh, very much. Oh, it's dark. It's dark, and I, dark, and I remember having it. Hmm. It's oh, very, lovely. very fizzy. Great carbonation to it. Lovely sort of two finger head going on there. Yeah, it's a bit more than that. I've obviously not got as much because you've had no. the initial carbonation no. there. But uh, it's whoever gets okay. the first pour when we get to it. Yeah. Um, it's kind of. Almost caramelly brown. Mm. Um, yeah, it's a good, good way to describe it. Nice colour. Very amber, uh, very carbonated. Mm. It, smell, it smells of caramel, actually, I yes. think. And yeah. you do get a bit of nuttiness on the nose. Um, caramel notes are definitely there. You get yeah. the malts as well, very much. Uh, yeah, very, very malty sort of. Yeah, I like the smell of this. Should, uh, we, should we dive in? Yeah, indeed. It's not yeah. quite as strong as I thought it was going to be in terms of taste, but it's got mm. real smooth yeah. sweetness to it. Yes, it's very sweet tasting, isn't it? But it is thin, like they said it was. It yeah, it? it's not sickly sweet. <coughs> no, not at all. It's actually extremely pleasant. No, that's, very, that's a very good beer. I can see how this would go well with spicy Mexican mm. food. It doesn't taste like a lager at all. No, it, I guess it is really an amber beer. Mm. Um, I quite like the bottle as well. The bottle is quite an unusual shape. Mm. It's almost a sort of a stubby, fat bottle. Um, it works well, chilled, I think, as well. I mean, yeah. imagine if you had the same beer, if it had it not been in the fridge, especially on the daylight today, it probably wouldn't be quite as nice. No, this one works really well, chilled, I think. What's the age rate? 5.4? 4, 5.4%. 5 yeah. Um, so it's not quite sessionable, but it isn't far off. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's pretty decent. Um, mm. Also, I do like the design. Um, now this is one obviously it's it's imported for the UK market because it's actually got the drinkaware.co.uk thing on it. Mm. Chance size um, probably brewed here actually. Uh, Could uh, well be. Possibly. Mm. Let's see. No, imported from Mexico. It says on the says on the bottle. I sit corrected. Um, <laughs> let's see some more history of this plan. So uh, it's from Mexico City itself. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I see. Right. Um, this is made by the same people who make Corona. So well, you that's a lot better than Corona. Yeah, it is a lot better than Corona, <laughs> but it's made by the same, uh, same brewery as... Vast improvement. Uh, Grupo Modelo. Um, and they make a beer called Modelo uh, and a beer called Corona, which I've never had a Modelo before, but obviously this is the dark version of the Modelo mm. being ne Negro, mm. which means dark in Spanish. Mm. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's... It's very drinkable. 90 years old, uh, the brewery. Mm. Um... And it says it says most beers in Mexico are brewed in a variation of Pilsner. Yeah, that's true. 
Um, but that this doesn't is taste like a lager. No, is this it? is. It says it's the na- it's Mexico Mexico's best-selling dark beer. And I'm not I'm not entirely me. surprised about that. No. Uh, it says there's some debate about exactly what style of beer it is. Um, many believe it is a dark Vienna-style lager, uh, whereas others insist it's close to a Mun- Munich-style Dunkel. Um, yeah, I, I can I can see both arguments on that. I think one. it's slightly um, more like a Vienna style because the Dunkels aren't quite as sweet as this, no. uh, and they're usually thicker in taste. Yeah, but I wouldn't say it's a lager. I really wouldn't. But um, it's really nice. Yeah, I mean I'm not a particular lover of lager to be honest. I uh, wouldn't I, I wouldn't call this a lager. No, 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 nor would I. No. I oh. don't really like a. I don't really like thin lagers. I don't really like pills no. that much. But that do you, is. Do you rate them out of ten, or do you, do you not do? Well, that? I know what I normally do, and I've done this with Quino on um, previous reviews. Is I, I usually give them the um, the the Green King IPA or Doom Bar test, and what that is oh, is God. you go into a pub, and if you saw this on draft, right. uh, uh, would you pick it over Green uh, a good condition Green King IPA or Doom Bar? Yeah, that's a, that's a no-brainer. Of course, I would. So you would. Yeah. So, so it's past. That's what I call the, the beer litmus test. Yeah. Um, so because I think it's hard. The rating system is difficult. Test, the, like that. It's very difficult to give ratings because there's a thousand one beers I have to try. So yeah, at one point, sure. I'm, the rating system will be out of date and I, mm. it'll be pointless. So I, instead of I have the litmus test of uh, is mm. it better than drinking IPA in Doom Bar? Mm. Some some of the ones I've had have not been. Mm. Some of the ones we have tonight might not be either. No, no, no. That's um, nice though. It's, but this it's, it's this is definitely passes that, and I definitely have this. If I saw this in a pub that didn't have any decent car scale on, I'd definitely uh, go for this on cake. Yeah, I think I would as well. I mean, it's a, it's a great beer, and um, I, I looked at it and I immediately thought that was a lager. I'm gonna, mm, not so sure Yeah, about the it. bottle looks like a lager, I, I, doesn't I, it? I initially thought, oh my goodness me, here we go. But I have to admit, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. That's, that, that's really quite pleasant. Yes. I think that's probably the first Mexican beer Ever all the it? Mexican beers I've had in this book so far have all been good. Oh, right, I've okay. had two two of them, um, which you can now buy one of them bottle in the Fox and Hounds in Caversham. All oh, right, okay. Uh, uh, Shameless plug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I was surprised because I'd, I, I'd done a beer review and then I saw it in this beer fridge. I'm like, oh, I had not seen that before, so that yeah, was right. interesting. Right, we'll leave it at this one and we'll yeah. go and drink the rest of this. Yeah. Um, no, uh, very good. Do comment and like and subscribe and. Uh, uh, who knows which beer review we'll see next? Might be with Tim, might be with someone else, might be with me on my own. Let's find out how I skin it. <laughs> Bye!